Hi, welcome um, and thanks for joining me on today's video. Um, uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a campaign very quickly using the Power Editor. This isn't going to be a long video, very quick. I just want to show you very quickly, step by step, how you can create uh, a new campaign in the Power Editor using the website conversions objective for a lead generation campaign. Okay, let's get right into it. So first thing we need to do is make sure everything is uploaded. Click on the campaigns tab and click create campaign. Uh, name your campaign, so I'm going to call this FB Ad Test. Um, so buying type, you've got two options, auction or fixed price, I'll leave it at auction. And soon this is going to be a lead gen campaign, click the website conversions objective, then click create. So there we go, the campaign is now created. Next thing you need to do is create your ad sets. Um, just very quickly, ad sets are basically used to segment different audience types in your campaigns, and that is how you should generally use them. Um, so there we go. So click on the ad sets um, tab, click on the plus sign to create ad set. Uh, first thing you need to do is select your uh, campaign which is created down here. Now the ad set. So. Uh, This is just an example, but this is how you name your ad set. So just name your ad set. Something generally that is related to your audience. So click create. So there we go. Select your um, audience. Our uh, first thing you need to do is um, first thing you need to do is choose a conversion pixel. So click use a conversion pixel. I've already set up my conversion pixels. So what you want to do if you're doing a lead gen campaign, you need to install a tracking code onto the um, Panky page after the person's opted in. So Facebook can, can um, optimize that pixel for you to get maximum results. So I'm just going to select my conversion pixel, click select, and there we go. It's all connected up to the, to the ad set. Next thing to do is budget and scheduling. If you're doing a test campaign, keep your budget low. Don't need to spend a lot of money. Um, if you're in pounds, I wouldn't spend more than 10 to 20 pounds a day on your test campaign. If you're in dollars, 15 to 30 dollars a day. Um, so that's how you uh, set your budgeting rules. Um, and basically, if your campaign is pouring, performing well, um, usually within the first three to five days, you will know how well your campaign is performing. If it's doing well, increase the budget by 50% every week. Um, and keep going on like that for as long as your campaign is working well. Okay, that's the budget. Um, ad scheduling, if you're doing a test campaign, I wouldn't worry about that. I'm not going to look at ad scheduling in this video, but you can sort of set a schedule here and go to more advanced options. Next thing I'm going to look at is my audience. Um, I'm going to choose an audience I've already got. So um, I'm going to use this. Um, just very quickly, Generally, uh, if you're running a test campaign, you want to keep your audience between 500,000 and 1 million people. Uh, this is one of my larger audiences because I know it's performing well. But if you're, if you're new and you're testing cold traffic, keep your audience between 500,000 and 1 million people. You've got a custom audience, search it here. Um, and these are all my sort of different audiences I've got. Okay, if you're, you haven't got any audiences, uh, enter the countries you wish to target here. Um, next thing you need to do is your age, put your age range in here. Um, generally, you want to keep age ranges between 20 to 30 years uh, to keep it specific. Okay, um, you've got more obviously genders if you want to target all men or women. Select your options here. You've got more demographics, which aren't really going to go into. You've got all sorts of different demographics you can sort of use here to really pinpoint down your perfect audience. Okay. Um, this so this is probably the most popular way you will target um, your audience if you haven't got audience of your own set up like a website custom audience or using your email data. Um, I've already populated my interest, but you put your interest in here and you can search by generic interest, interest or by page like I'm doing here. 
so now we've got our interest done click save and the interest will be loaded up so there we go so as you can see our interests are here okay the next thing to do is look at your placements if you're running a test campaign keep all of these selected but obviously analyze your FB reporting to see which placements are performing better for you because you'll be surprised placements can dramatically reduce um, your ad costs if they're performing well um, obviously optimization pricing if you're doing using the website conversions objective let Facebook um, optimize your bidding for you because they will use their vast array of data to get the most leads for the least cost okay that's your ad set, set up so let's use one of our ads um, for this campaign um, I am just going to duplicate because I'm just going to run them very quickly. Um, uh, you know uh, uh, what to do to set up a, a new ad, a new um, test. So choose your campaign um, into your um, ad set um, and click create. So that's there we go. That's the ad that we're going to look at. I'm just going to run through very quickly the, the ad we're just going to look at. So basically, the first thing you need to do is connect your advert to a Facebook page. Um, you'll see your page. You need to upload your page per editor first, um, but once you have, you'll see your page in the drop down options here. Next thing to do is um, you need to decide on what kind of advert you want to create. I'm just going to use a single product ad, but you can use multiple ads. Facebook have brought in um, a new option where you can have multiple products in one advert now. If you want to do that, you can click that there and upload all your images and URLs for the different products. Um, next thing you need to do is input your website URL here. Uh, the next thing to do is you want to put in your main text, which is here. Um, and you literally input it there. Just very quickly, rules for creating ad tech. Start off with your audience's pain point and offer them a solution and keep your ad text really short. No more than two, no more than say two sentences or three lines of text. Keep it brief and to the point. Um, obviously that's that. Um, obviously input your headline here, which basically is what your offer is. Uh, then the description ticks with description box, which is here, which basically summarizes your whole advert and offer. Uh, this is where you upload your image. Um, I've already got an image uploaded, but literally these are all your selections here. Um, I'm going to use that one, and you can upload new images here. So there we go. Um, just very quickly with images, it should your image should represent what you're offering so just sort of a thing to remember there and another thing is if you put in text on your image no more than 20 percent text obviously will be disapproved by facebook um last thing is your call to action button definitely use call to action buttons because they definitely increase response rate you've got a couple of options here choose the one that describes the action you want the audience to take to the most and uh, the last thing you need to do um if you're using um tracking from Google Analytics or another tracking provider, put your URL tracking tags in here and your provider will give you the information from your advert that is being tracked. Um, and that is it, these are our pixels that we've obviously attached to this campaign. All that's left to do, just check over your advert, make sure everything's fine and you're happy with it. Last thing you need to do, is click the upload change button, button and your campaign will be uploaded. Um, usually takes five to two hours five minutes to two hours for your campaign to be approved um, so there you go uh, last thing i want to say if you liked everything in this video um, if you click on the annotation button above or if you go to the description and click on the landing page and enter your email address i can send you my five-step fb advert uh, template that i personally use to create high converting um, facebook images um, adverts um, but get you lots of 
traffic leads for minimal cost and it's a strategy I use time and again um, so there you go if you I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and I will look forward to speaking to you all soon thank you